Jaguar XE delivers a smartly executed take on the compact executive genre, offering something appealingly different to the usual German suspects. On paper at least, it seems to have the design, technology and ambition necessary to succeed in this segment, with the dynamics of a BMW and the luxury of a Mercedes, plus all the efficiency and connectivity modern business buyers now expect. It's a strong contender. So, what's it like? Well, sporting, certainly. You sit low in contour-hugging seats in front of a chunky sports steering wheel that, like the deeply cowled instrument dials, is borrowed from Jaguar's F-type sports car. It's a driver's environment, a place to do business with the road, with the raised centre console adding to the cockpit-style feel. Stab the pulsing start button, and if, like most potential owners, you've opted for automatic transmission, the brand's trademark rotary drive selector rises up into the palm of your hand. You're ready. Set off and you get to experience what Jaguar's engineers call the 50 meter feel, the all important first impression that any vehicle conveys about the way it will drive. This one feels sharp, purposeful, and from the very start, beautifully composed over our country's terrible tarmac. That's down to an immensely feelsome electric power steering setup and a sophisticated integral link suspension system that gives a class leading ride and handling balance, able to give some credence to Jaguar's claim that this is now the driver's car in this class. It's certainly the nicest car you could choose to ride in. Engine wise, mainstream models get two litre power, either a Ford derived petrol unit exclusively mated to an eight speed auto gearbox and developing either 200 PS or as here 240 PS, or an all new Ingenium diesel unit offering a choice of either manual or auto transmission and developing either 163 or 180 PS. The only other choice is a supercharged 340 PS three litre petrol V6 borrowed from the F-Type sports car, there to power the XES Super Saloon variant. As its predecessor, the Mark II model was in the 60s, this XE is unmistakably a Jaguar. Its upscale proportions delivering the kind of dynamic and purposeful look needed for success in this segment. It's unmistakably a modern Jaguar too, so there are a few of the retro touches that have so characterised and maturely pigeonholed some of the brand's other modern era designs like the S-Type and the X-Type. Instead, the XE echoes the styling approach first established by its larger XF showroom stablemate with an aggressive grille, a strongly sculpted bonnet, a steeply raked windscreen and a rising waistline. The resulting shape catches the eye and cleaves the air like no Jaguar before it, registering a phenomenally low 0.26 CD drag coefficient. It's not afraid to be different either, not only in how it looks, but also in how it's made. This is the lightest and stiffest car the brand has ever built, thanks to the fact that over 75% of its structure is fashioned from aluminium, a proportion far higher than you'll find in any other rival in this class. Time to take a seat at the wheel where you sit low, cocooned by a deep centre console that creates a cockpit style feel. There are interesting touches too, like these smart metal finished air vents that extend the fascia to nestle into the door casings. And of course, Jaguar's trademark rotary automatic gear shifter that glides up into the palm of your hand on startup. The dished three spoke leather stitched wheel is also distinctive if slightly over buttoned with cruise control functions fitted on one side and switches for driving information adjustments on the other. Also attempting to deliver cabin clarity is the feature that dominates the centre console, the colour touchscreen that lies at the heart of the XE's latest generation in control infotainment system. It not only deals with the expected audio, climate, telephone and navigation functions, but also allows access to a whole suite of in-control connected car technologies. Time to take a seat in the rear. Initially, the high rear deck makes it appear to be a little claustrophobic. 
but get yourself comfortable. Maybe fold down this center armrest with its twin cup holders and stretch your elbows out a bit and you'll find that it's a little more spacious than it first appears. Even if you're a six footer sitting behind a front occupant of similar stature, you should still have an inch or so of leg room to spare, thanks in part to the deeply scalloped seat backs. Here's an area in which this XC simply has to be on the pace. Business buyers rightly often feel that there's little to choose between the key contenders in the compact executive market segment, and it's therefore not unusual for final decisions to be almost entirely based on things like fuel and CO2 readings, depreciation and overall running costs. The British-built 2-litre Ingenium diesel unit is now the joint efficiency class leader in this sector, matching the best that BMW can manage with its efficient dynamics technology in its super frugal 320D ED model, and fractionally improving on the showing of a rival Mercedes C220 Bluetech. With manual transmission, the 163 PS 2 litre DXE variant was the very first car in this segment to dip below the significant 100 grams per kilometre barrier, with a 99 grams per kilometre showing that'll see retail customers paying no road tax and business users qualifying for the lowest 10% BIK company car taxation rate. This derivative was also the first car in this class to approach 75 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle, with a 74.3 miles to the gallon showing that will see you travelling between 3 to 4 miles more on every gallon than that Mercedes rival I just mentioned. Bold, innovative, forward thinking and able to level with the class best, this XE is the most credible Jaguar sports saloon we've seen since the 60s. It chases bigger sales, but unlike some of its predecessors, hasn't diluted crucial elements of brand credibility. In short, this is a car that's been worth the wait. BMW, Mercedes and Audi have had it too easy for too long. With the XE, Jaguar could well gatecrash the party in style.